I'm gonna show you how to consistently square up a baseball. And I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. If I can't hit seven out of 10 balls squared up off that pitching machine off of 90 miles per hour, then I'm gonna have to pay one of you guys $20. Yes, $20. And if you want a chance of winning that, all you have to do is like this video. Go ahead, click that button. You wanna subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you need to comment a number that I'm gonna put throughout this video to see if you actually watch to the end of this video where I do the challenge. So right now, I'm going to take you through the practice so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to start hitting more line drives. And if you go through this whole plan, you'll hit seven out of 10 hard. And the seven out of 10 hard that I'm talking about is a challenge that A-Rod used to do before getting ready to play in his game. So we're gonna do the A-Rod challenge right now. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first drill we're gonna do is the catch drill. And the reason why we're doing that drill is because the catch drill lets the ball come to you. So that keeps your head still, that keeps you on your backside, and that keeps you in a strong position. And when you do this, what you wanna do is you wanna try to catch it where your belly button is or to your front hip. If you're like moving away from your body, this is bad. We wanna stay inside of our body, meaning that we want to stay in here when we catch it. And this is going to keep our eye on the ball and let the ball travel to you, which is allowing you to see the ball deeper and make better decisions as a hitter. But what it also does, since you're putting it on your right hand as a right-handed hitter, and if you're a left-handed hitter, you're going to put it on your left hand. What this allows you to do, start training your hand, your top hand, which controls the barrel right to the ball. So it's going to teach you a good path towards the ball. To square balls up more consistently, we have to create a path that allows us to do that and the top hand would do it so that's what we're doing for our drill number one first round i just want to see it into the strike zone right here we're teaching ourselves the strike zone in order to hit line drives consistently we have to swing at strikes if we're swinging at balls or pitchers pitches, it's gonna be hard to be consistent. Okay, so we're training ourselves to start swinging at strikes. So after we do a few like that, you wanna start doing, you wanna see if you can start getting that extension through the ball. See how my head's on it? and I'm staying behind the baseball, I'm in a strong position. So the second round is called the tap drill. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get ourselves ready to hit and all we're gonna do is just tap it. If you're an older player or a coach, you call this pepper, but I call this the tap drill and it's good for kids who are building their swings. And this is a good way to start teaching yourself how to get barrel to the ball. So we first do the catch drill and now we're doing the tap drill. And when we're doing the tap drill, think of it similar to what you were doing with the catch drill, which is you're just taking your top hand to it and just catching it. So don't think about hitting it, think about catching it. And when you do the tap drill, I like to think of going hands to hit. That way my shoulders stay in this position rather than coming off the ball. So that would be drill number two that we're about to do right now. Now the next drill we're gonna do is called the three quarter drill. We did the catch drill to let the ball come to us and start training our top hand to catch the ball, to get on playing with the ball so we can start squaring the ball more consistently. We did the tap drill to start training ourselves to work inside of our body. Now we're gonna do the three quarter drill. The three quarter drill is getting a little bit more extension through the ball. This is going to help you to start creating that extension directly towards the pitcher. We want our top hand to be punching towards the pitcher. You should be able to see this Franklin sign the entire time as I'm doing a three-quarter swing. It should be here. You should still see the Franklin sign. If I do not get the right extension, this Franklin sign is going to go over like this and you won't see it. So you should still see that extension through by seeing that Franklin sign right there. And we're trying to hit line drives when we're doing this. We want to take our, our barrel right to the ball. Give ourselves ready and get on playing with that top hand. 
And just like we were doing with the glove where we were thinking, catch it, we want to do that same thing, but now with the bat in our hand. That was a low probability pitch. You're not going to be able to square that one up. You can really feel when you open up when you do this drill. And if you stay through it, you'll get that. You'll get that push through it towards the pitcher. Boom. Remember to get that front shoulder coming in before you do it. Front shoulder come in, boom right to the ball. Now the next drill we're gonna do, we're gonna do top hand. Well, all we're gonna do is choke up and we're gonna swing with one hand. So just to give you a little recap, we did the catch drill to let the ball come to us to train us which pitches we should hit. We're training ourselves the strike zone because in order to hit line drops, you have to swing at good pitches. You're not gonna be able to swing at pitches that are low probability pitches, which are pitches, let's say up here or really, really low and try to hit those as line drives. So it's training ourselves to know the strike zone because good hitters, know the strike zone they get the pitcher to throw inside of that strike zone so that's what the catch drill does and it let the ball come to you and teaches you to create the path then the tap drill gets us to work inside of our body so we're not spinning off the ball we're working in here and going direct to the baseball the three-quarter drill is working on our extension and then lastly we're putting it all together because we're doing the one-handed drill off a pitching machine which is going to be kind of hard and don't do too much of it right because you don't want to feel pain in your elbow don't don't do too much of this i know some of you guys are going to just go and hit 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 you don't want to do too much of this just do a little bit feel it hit some line drives off the machine train yourself to get barrel to the ball and see it hit the barrel as you're hitting it and you're going to start squaring up more balls than than you ever see. And when we do this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get extension towards the pitcher with our top. So it's not like this. We don't want this. This is no good. Swing it in and out of the zone. We want to go here and we want to stay through it. Stay through it. Go back to the thought process of don't hit it, catch it. Just like when you had the glove on and it was like this, boom, catching it. We're trying to catch it. We're not trying to hit it, is this. That's hitting it. We're trying to catch it, okay? so. Right now, that's what we're going to do. Now the moment we've been waiting for, can I beat the A-Rod challenge? which means can I hit seven balls squared up out of 10 swings? Now, if I take it because it's a ball, that doesn't count. It has to be a swing to count. And if I don't hit seven out of 10, one of you is going to win $20 and I'm going to send you $20 to your bank account. And if you want a chance of winning that, all you have to do is comment a number below, which if you watch this whole video, the number is somewhere in this video. I hid it away, but it's somewhere where you can see it. But you also have to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button for me. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So with that being said, if you haven't done it, do that right now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit that like button for me. Let's do this. Let's get locked in. Let's get locked in. Let's get locked in. I'm gonna take this pitch for right now. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. All right, let's do this. Nope. Oh. 
Oh no! Three out of five. Four out of six. Five out of seven. Six out of eight. Seven out of nine. Yeah, boy! If you enjoyed this, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And if you're new here, you're in love. This video right here was talk to you about how to hit fast pitching in baseball. So with that being said, click that video, and I'll see you in the next video.